Welcome in everyone for a completely unrelated random video. Um, this is the Pokemon TCG Game Boy game. And I just recently did a couple of streams where I did a starter deck challenge in which I just beat the whole game with just the first deck that you get in the game. And uh, it turned out so much fun in the, with the first deck. We started with the fire deck and then uh, it was so much fun. I, I, I went on with the, whole, uh, with the whole deck the whole weekend and we beat that game in 20 hours or something. It took a long time but it was super fun and very thrilling battles and whatever. And then I decided, okay, we have to do this with all the decks. So I also on the on the following weekend I did it with the with the grass deck too and with the water deck. On the water deck I did lose so many times that we had so many punishment cards that I didn't want to go on because it was just not fun at this point anymore. And the grass deck that was I treated that very badly and I want to redeem the grass deck a bit by this video here um, because yeah I, I really didn't I didn't show the potential of the grass deck too much I gave up way too soon and I was frustrated and then I blamed the deck and whatever but it was not really the deck's fault that I, I played badly and I couldn't really handle it so I felt bad for the grass deck because I treated that the worst and therefore I just remade that challenge so on my own time I just went through all the medals here with that deck and as you can see it only took like five hours to get through all the master medals and so I'm now at the part of the game where we face the final challenge here the, the, the five trainers in a row that we have to beat in one go and uh, to quickly review you the rules of this challenge so that you get on board with what this even is about. So you start the game, so in, in my own, it's a made up challenge from myself. And the, the premise is that you pick the first deck that you get in the game, you have three decks. So you can have the grass deck, Bulbasaur, Charizard and uh, Squirtle, so all the, the three starter type decks. And you get those decks and you are allowed to change around all cards that you want except that you have to keep one of the, the base Pokemon that are in the original deck. So I could technically get rid of Ivysaur and Venusaur, get rid of those two, but I have to at least keep Bulbasaur in the deck. That's kind of the rule set basically. And that goes for everything that's in the deck, so we cannot swap out a Pokemon that we are locked into. So Tangela, for example, we have to keep all the way. And the Pinsir is new, that is like a custom add. But that's the rules basically, and that's, that's what makes it hard to swap around the strategies too much, because you're locked into the same Pokemon from the start. And that's basically the challenge. But obviously it's getting easier if... Oh yeah, I, I forgot to say. If you lose a battle in, in the challenge, then you have to... Once you win again after and you get a booster pack with random cards, you have to pick the first card of that booster pack and put it in your deck somehow. You have to make space for that card and put it in the deck. So the more you lose, the more punishment cards, the more random nonsense cards you have to add for the deck and the worse the deck plays and it's getting harder and harder the more you lose. So it's obviously best to never lose and I can already tell you I did all this challenge here with the grass deck without losing once. So we're on a complete win streak right now and I want to see how far we can push this now and uh, yeah. Let's keep going, but I want to quickly show you what we have in the deck. So I kept the Venusaur around, one, one example, one quantity. Then I put a Butterfree in. That's probably come in handy for like the, the resistancy of the fighting type. That's a big deal for later maybe. Then 
I I only went one Nidorina, uh, one one Niran, um female, but I did try to invest more into this guy. I was hoping to get a Nido King, but I only got the Nido Queen, and I don't think this is too too good for the challenge. So basically, I went for the Nido Reno a lot, but then I decided I had to cut one. I I went with two all the way, but I just recently cut one. And also I put, as I showed you, the Pinsir. Pinsir is also a big deal, it's just like he can tank a bit. The 60 HP is not that great, but he can tank a bit at least, and he can like output a lot of damage, which, yeah, 50 is not that crazy, but it's something. And then obviously on the water side here, I definitely kept the Dugong, that's the, the heavy hitter here. He has good HP and packs a hell of a punch for the three three energies. It's very cheap, and he's basically the best Pokemon in the deck, to be honest. But uh, I didn't want to completely rely on him, so yeah, I try. I played around with some other stuff like Vaporeon, but it didn't really turn out well. So I. I cut most of the water stuff and we only really have the dugong basically. And on the normal side there is yeah the, the Jigglypuff was un I can put that out. The Meowth I put the Persian in because that is a big deal because no retreat cost and the pounds um yeah reduces damage and you can like lift so many things. And it has 70 HP, so it's pretty useful. I put that in for the normal. The Kangaskhan was the normal, was in the deck already, so that's not a new thing. The Eevee, I had to cut everything but one Eevee. And yeah, that's just in, whatever. And the rest, there was not too much more space. I put three bills now, that's like the recent, the most, more, most recent change here. So we have a bit of drawing power. I put the Pokemon Trainer. I've never played him, so that's I think the last card I added. You see how that plays out. Um, yeah, Super Energy Retrieval. That's very useful for the energies. Switch plus power. I couldn't really go higher than those because of the space. And then we have some potions, full heal. And the Gambler I had to put out of the deck because of space reasons, but whatever. And then energies, I only have the 13 grass and 8 water, and I have 2 colorless energies. So that's the deck, and I think that's all I can say here. So we should be going ahead and see what we can do with this deck, and how far we can actually make it. Make it blah. Enter the dual stage, let's go. Let's see how far the frog can push this, or if we lose this right away, because I think the fire, the fire trainer, that is the first one that is gonna be the hardest one, probably. But that's why I wanted to try to get a Nido King in the deck, because that has no weakness of fire. That is weak to Psychic instead of Fire. And that's gonna come in handy, but we have to do it without. So let's see how we start here. We got the Frog already on deck. But yeah, he's hard to play, so we might... See, the problem with Caterpie is I only have one of it in the deck. So if I burn it at the start, we... We lock ourselves out of the Butterfree later, so I might burn one of the seals, since we also don't really have the energies just yet. So I might put that first, it also it can tank more than the Caterpie, it has 60 HP, so I think we go seal first, then we scout what we see, and then we can maybe adjust for what's happening. So we're not even going first, this is raw. This is a raw start. Okay, Kangaskhan is a good stalling option. 
So let's see what we draw. The Pokemon Trader right away. Okay. So do we try to go for the Venusaur or do, or do we... Do we maybe search for the Butterfree or do we wait until we get either of the evolution and then get the loss of it? Or do we actually get the Dugong? That could be an option, but I think we wanna... Yeah, we wanna just see what's happening. And then maybe react later. So let's just see what's going on. We actually have the advantage here. Okay. I think Dugong could, could be a big deal if we get to the Dugong somehow. That could be a very big deal, but see, the energy is the issue. That is an issue. I could maybe... wait. Nah, this has weakness, see? That's a bad idea to go for the Caterpie. And for the frog as well, he's, he's weak too. Ah, that's rough. So I think I might put this on the Kangaskhan. We might wanna try for the second seal. We might do as I said and we sacrifice the first seal here. And just buy time for the second one. And probably even burn the Kangaskhan too. And that's another water type, that's good. Honestly, I'm gonna ready the Kangaskhan for action. And then we, meanwhile, we just wait for energies. So at least we got the first prize. Full heal, alright. Vulpix. Angela. So the Kangaskhan is ready, and this thing has weakness too. Very good. And there's another Vulpix on the bench, and a Growlithe. We might... Honestly, we might not even have that many issues just yet. We might hang around with this setup here. So I'm gonna pull the Kangaskhan now, I think. So we're gonna die for sure. There's no way she flips eight eight tails. There's no way. I said there's no way. What? What the hell? What is that? We survived an eight shot attack? <laughs> what? Oh my god, okay. That was unexpected. There is the frog. Okay, we could... We could try for the frog. But is it worth it? We can swap energies around and stuff, but is that really worth it? I'm gonna put the Goldeen as well on the bench because it can retreat for free. Let me see, the, the Pokemon Trader, trade one in your hand for one from your deck. Let's, let's get the frog, okay? Since this is the frog video, oh wait. Oh yeah, yeah, we, we switch to Tangela and we get the Bulbasaur, exactly. And then we put the Bulbasaur on the on the bench and then evolve him over time. Wow, we survived the eight coin flips, I can't believe it. That was crazy luck. But yeah, it's kinda the the green deck, the grass deck kind of relies on luck. A good bunch. It, but it's it's less it's less less so as I expected. Uh, in my stream, when I showcased this on stream, 
I said that the game is uh, that the that the deck is completely luck based, but that's not that. It's not that true. It's me. It's not. It's not even 50-50. I would say maybe 30-40 percent kind of. That's maybe luck based, but the rest you can handle with good plays. Um, Kangas can should do it. I feel. We just have to be a bit lucky here. There you see the luck already. So there's a there is a bunch of coin flips, but it's not that bad. I thought it was like only oh you need all the paralysis flips and whatever. That's what my guess was on stream. My first impression of the deck, but it's not really true. So you can eliminate a, a good bunch of the, the luck that I thought was mandatory. Alright, and then we got the big frog already. There it is. And we can get him ready actually. We could even switch him in right away, but we have to switch the Kangaskhan out. That's too costly and it's not worth it. So we just keep chipping here. And yeah, this is where the coin flips come. Right as I say that we don't need luck, you see a bunch of coin flips. But really it's not that bad, it's just a... Uh, even if you have to go for that luck, it's not so that you... You need to go for it, so you, you don't... You're not forced to only do luck stuff, that's what I'm saying. And I actually found that the Nidoran male... That is... Pretty useful, and even this one here. This is like the furry swipes that with the three coins uh, times ten. But the other need to run is one coin, but thirty at once. And I find that one coin flip not that bad. It's a 50-50 on a huge attack, and I find that pretty much worth it. Or I grew to like it in in this challenge here in this deck. So, therefore, I'm a bit more willing for some gambles here. But, yeah. Come on. Ah, see, this is bitter, but... We're, we're still fine, we just need one more. And she cannot fuel the Moltres yet. We even got a potion here. So... I don't know, I could... Nah, we have nothing here. We could maybe try for the... No, we have no energies. Okay, whatever. We just flip coins. There we go, that's a kill already. That is nice. And there's Bill, very good. Acceleration, I put that in for the acceleration because sometimes I had situations where I was stuck without any energy, just as we are actually. Because we're so low on energies in this deck here because of the space. And therefore I had to somehow work around that limitation a bit. In using less energies. Because I'm not using all the Pokemon anyway, so stuff like Nidoran I never put on the bench really if I don't have to. Same for the Meowth, I only put it when the Persian is around. Caterpie the same, so I only re really go for Pokemon that I'm sure to be evolving. And so I don't even get to... Um, yeah, to, to, every, to, to having to feed all the Pokemon with energies. Do we burn the Kangaskhan already? we have to I think he's dead we could potion up but that's pointless I think we just flip some coins whatever let's see come on one more ah that's rough okay it's a bit of a waste but this should be one hit range for the frog and he is not gonna do the self damage okay 
Um, ah, that's tricky now. I have to burn the seal, I feel like. And there's the metapod, so we could try to get ready for the... For that. Okay, we have to take one hit here. It is what it is. And then maybe hope for a plus power. And if we don't get it, then... We might die, or we just sw swap out. Yeah, the seal... Okay, yeah, he's gonna suicide, that's fine. That's a good trade for us. There's the plus power even, in case we need it, and the frog is ready. So we send him in. And he can actually finish this whole match. Which is perfect for the video. <laughs> what a surprise, the frog actually takes it himself. So this looks like we gonna sweep with the frog now. Looks pretty promising to me. There's hardly anything that can go wrong, so... Let's see the frog blow this up. And we even got potions, so... Even if he takes a shot, we can... Oh no, he's gonna die. If he takes a blow, then he's gonna die for the weakness. But... That's fine. He's not gonna get there. Because, you see, we're in range for the 60. And we just go plus power, boost him up by 1, and then it's a 60 plus 1 is a 70 shot, and that's the, the kill. GG, the frog took it. Frog is not that bad, so my impression was wrong on my stream, I apologize for the frog. He's not that bad. Alright. So... Who's next? That's the electric guy. Let's see how he does. Let me quickly check this, the time. I'm not even sure how long that took. That's hell of a long video. Oh my god. Okay, I actually... We cut it here. And you see the next video for the next challenge. So, see you around and... Goodbye. See you in the next video.